This is NBC 10 News. The full-on assault against popular soft drinks goes to a whole new level. Today, messages on machines, the war on soda that's giving your eyes something to see before you insert cash for cola. Today is the start of Healthy Week here on NBC 10, and all week we'll bring you the little things you can do in your daily life to improve your health. And today, it is the vending machine. The beverage industry is introducing new vending machines that display how many calories that you're drinking. When you press a button to select a drink, you can see a calorie count on the button. Vending machines will also display messages that say, try lower calorie drinks. The machines launch in Chicago and San Antonio, but they will be more widespread next year. Now, the soft drink industry is under pressure to get healthy as soda consumption declines and more communities consider some forms of regulation. And joining me now with more is Marjorie Nolan from the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Thanks for joining us. Yes. First of all, how many calories are in these sugary soft drinks, just to give people an idea? There's about 140 calories in the average 12-ounce soft drink. So that's a lot of calories, and it, it, sometimes, you know, people get a soda, and then they get a refill, mm -hmm. and they don't realize just how much they're drinking. It can add up quickly. Now, here in Philadelphia, Mayor Michael Nutter had proposed a two-cent two soda tax per ounce. Does, do you think something like that would actually work in getting people to cut down on soda consumption as a registered dietitian? Um... It, it could for some people. Um, however, in my experience in working with clients and being a, a spokesperson for the Academy, I can tell you that if somebody wants to drink soda, they're going to drink soda. So it's really all about consumer awareness and, and letting people know what is in these beverages and what are you actually consuming, because it does add up quick, and people, some people just really don't realize that. Right, so a vending machine where you would push a button and it would give you information right away before you made your, your choice, that could be something that could work. Possibly. Absolutely. Just, uh, you know, there's the guilt factor. If we know that there's a lot of calories and sugar in something, a lot of people tend to choose the uh, uh, the lower calorie option or opt for water or some other beverage. Now, what about New York's ban coming up in the spring on high calorie drinks over 16 ounces, kind of mm -hmm. like the big gulp at movie theaters and different venues? Mm -hmm. They're going to ban them in the spring. Will that help? Do you think that's a good message to consumers to say, hey, this is too much? Well, it's it's taking the choice out of the consumer's um, hands. Uh, and uh, what people, a lot of people don't realize is that those consumers can walk across the street and buy that beverage somewhere else in that quantity. And so, um, you know, it's it could go either way, but it certainly isn't going to stop people from drinking soda if that's what they want. And if we take soda out of the diet, I mean, how much could people wait? Could they lose potentially? Well, if someone is drinking uh, even just one soda per day, calorically that adds up to about 15 calories a year or 15 pounds a year. So um, if, if someone is consuming soda on a regular basis, uh, it could be significant if they cut it out completely. All right, Marjorie Nolan, thanks so much for Thank joining you. us. Appreciate it. And for more healthy ideas, all you have to do is go to NBC10.com, and that's where you'll see smart food options, even healthy vacations.